previously on the pandemic. The country is not ready for such a drastic measure. And me you know in Jamaican people, they're going to flood the supermarket. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, food now we can't food. We can't food really. But it is the best of all can do. Hey babe, how are you? I'm good, sweetheart. Just missing you as usual. Huh, I miss you too, babe. This is is emergency. And it is not not as we said just said to some people some are people being are defensive. Defensive. Some people are being right now. Right now, strong, strong fences, fences to keep, keep the virus, the virus contained. contained. Kids, kids. Get out. Now that I have your attention, guess what? Are we coming on? No. Corona gone? I wish, but no. Then what, daddy? Wait for it. The teachers sent all the schoolwork to do. What? Can't bad I know. Hello, me have left you now. Not even finished my assignment from yesterday. Okay. The government closed down all schools across Jamaica. So the teachers are only trying to make up for last time and keep you guys occupied. Stress, man. I feel it for you guys. I really do. But education is very vital. It builds your character and shape you for the future. Alright? So I tell you what. You take this one. You work with this one. Dermian, you can do your work on the laptop. Since your work deals with time. Alright, so kids, you deal with the school. I'm gonna give your mom a call. Hey babe, how are you guys? Well, we have like, we're finishing all the last of the food. From the morning that you sent me, sent me. Well, I'm just here now in the garden trying to relax my brain because things are really getting wrong. Like, can you believe it? Even the stores are out of toilet paper. <laughs> and then the worst thing is, today I got laid off from my job. You know, bank tellers are essential workers, but then they're going digital now and just need a few persons. And then you know how the buyer situation. Boy, I don't know when it's going to end. Things are really getting harder and harder everywhere. Well, I'm still praying for a breakthrough, babes. But things are really getting harder. Like, even the food in the house is running out. And then I was the only one contributing. I think, you know, my sister is here. But she is so lazy. She's just so lazy. All she does is stay in the bed and then eat all the food in the house. <laughs> really? Fosh babes. But tell me something, wasn't she working at a call center before? Yes, but the call centers over here, um, they shut them down and asked everybody to work from home. But she, no, no, she not do that. All she want to do is watch African move. African movie in African movie. What? She need to wake up and take her life more seriously. She can't live like that. Yes, she's just so stubborn and lazy. So what about her daughter? Well, her baby father, he came for the baby, saying that she's still lazy. And it's a good thing. Oh my, can you imagine a child cannot have both parents? <laughs> Oh my gosh, it, it's just so sad. But she really needs to wake up on her own because I'm so tired of talking to her. And then I'm not the only one talking to her. Mom and dad talk to her as well. But she's just not hearing her. But anyways, let's just move on from this topic. Did you get through with that um, 
uh, we care, yes, the we care money that the government said we couldn't get. Yeah, it doesn't make sense to even talk about we care. Now. Because precisely from my observation, the government don't care at all. You know, it's been weeks I've been waiting on this money. And until now, to no avail. What? Seriously? And I was really hoping you'd get through to, you know. Because I know how things stop down there. And, and then if it wasn't for the Aki and the manga that you guys gathered the other day, then you'd be out of food. Well, I can't tell you. It's years upon years I've been sending the kids to the bush you know, to food them daddy. So that this little fool could stretch. Yes. We just have to hope and pray. Because the government... Well, it seems we really have no luck with the government this time around. We need this. We need the government to face rough times ahead. We only God and man can save us in this. But any of you. You just be careful of it. Be safe, please. Dante? Dante? It's Eddie. Oh, you're coming up. Hi. You see, you're getting all the work done. Yes, Daddy. You sure? It's Daddy. You know, why is it that you look so discouraged? See, well, I tell you what, just a word of encouragement. My teacher once said, The heights my great men reach and care. We're not attained by sudden flight. But day while your companion slept, we're toiling up for through the night. The concept of this saying, Without hard work, you cannot get productivity. So study hard. Alright? Yes, we will achieve. Okay? Yes. Be a good boy. I know it is hard, you know, but it is worth it. You know, when I was growing up, my teacher used to talk me, Alice. Leave up for learning before you go home. For learning is better than silver and gold. Silver and gold vanish away, but a good education will never Okay, Cheyenne? Okay, Cheyenne? Yes, sir. Oh, you have the dancer. They must turn from evil and do good. Hey, cuz what going? I'm in there trying to hold it, you know. This virus will be with me hard, yo. Same thing over here, we're earning all them food and money. And my stepfather more aggressive these days. And my mommy always a fight, but, but we are trying to be positive and trust God. May I pray for them, so no hurry. Yes, but I know we can do right now, you know. Sorry to hear about the family. Yeah. It's okay. Mommy sent the kids to stay with that. Because if that kid can't talk to my sister and my brother, them are right to her. Because it's stopping from coming for her there. But mommy sent them away to protect them because he doesn't like us. I was supposed to be at home, but we'll be fine. It's just the three of us now, and I'm leaving later because mommy is afraid I'm going to get hurt too. Yeah. Better you guys leave, you know. I never liked that man. 
tell mom to join you and you guys stay safe with your dad. That's the best thing to do. I need to tell her to do that, but she loves him and feels a little change. Well, we got me a pray for them, man, so we could not worry ourselves about it. Can I help you now? We are family. We have to worry. But I'll help you pray. Alright? Thanks, cuz. Appreciate it. No problem. So, what's up otherwise? Well, then, what the man needs to go on in Jamaica and he wants to share with you? He? What do you mean? You know, see the pics you go around with the people there right now, where they must have really check your WhatsApp now. Like, seriously? Jamaican people are harder here, you know? No, sir. Yeah, it's serious, but it's funny, bad. <laughs> yeah. Let that you win. <laughs> Pre them video here too with them people are fight the curfew. Good evening, sir. Good night, brother. Are you a part of the essential service, sir? We all tell we now go in. All right, we are now on Pencil Street in Arnett Garden. Um, earlier, we got some information from our emergency that people were gathered here resisting the curfew order and even had footage that was going around on social media claiming that they are not coming off the street and hurling a lot of expletives and so on. That clipping was sent to me and I identified the main narrator who you saw we just took out of his house. We are going to take him into custody now um, on a reasonable suspicion and the rest will follow. <laughs> no, Rasta. Because them bad don't it. Ah, oh, boy. Jamaica is not a real place. <laughs> Yo. Them not come from Florida, sir. Who is? Nah, like no, cause you make me day. Been feeling sad cause I'm supposed to be spending time with my girl, but not hearing from her. Oh, cause call her and find out what's happening. Yeah, man. I will do that right now. Yeah, man. No problem. Later. Alright, let me call this girl. Hey, what's up? What's up? Aren't we supposed to be meeting today? Yeah, but I can't come again. Sorry. Like seriously? So not even an explanation? I can't come, okay? Just leave it at that. Next time. Are you kidding me? Every time we meet up, we do this. And the fifth time, this you know. Yeah, and every time you accost me, and you don't even know why, you don't understand. What the hell? You really saying this to me, Casey? I can't believe this right now. I can't read minds, you know. But all I know is that it's important to spend time together in a relationship. So we both can grow together. And so I told you that I am willing to do whatever it takes to see you. You just have to be willing to do the same. Yeah, see it there? As you girl. You always make it look like, say, me no want to be around you. Yeah, me are the worst. I'm not thinking you are the worst. I'm just saying that when we made the plans to meet up and spend time together, you agreed. And then when the time comes for us to spend time together, you cancel. Like, come on, man. Without explanation. All I need is for you to make the effort to see me so we can have time together. 
Your home is free from the virus and all. And so is mine. So there shouldn't be any issue at all. I know, Danny. But it's not that simple for me. Next time on the pandemic. You know that even though we are oceans apart, because of this technology, we are connected. And that is very good. But, you know, now that we are all here, let us begin to... I want to start Okay, okay.